I think that Alfred is jealous that Puppy got employee of the quarter. children. Okay. Hey guys, it's Jasmine and Puppy and Alfred will be throughout this video because it's going to be a little bit of a voiceover today. And I just wanted to make a video to clarify on last week's video, which was explaining how to use gizzards and hearts in the raw cat food recipe. And it has come to my attention that it isn't exactly a 50-50 split when you get those tandem packages of chicken gizzards and chicken hearts. Oftentimes it's way more gizzards, probably 80% gizzards and only 20% hearts. So I wanted to show you how to put this kind of calculation into the raw food recipe calculator we have on catladyfitness.com to get a more accurate count or dosage of how much additional taurine you should be adding to the recipe to do the best you can in avoiding any kind of deficiency when it comes to your feline fur baby getting taurine. Before we get started, if you're into all kinds of cat stuff, including the cute cats that are showing right here and raw cat food and kitty nutrition, or if you're into things for humans like fitness and workouts, recipes, stress management tips, and honestly, whatever else I feel like posting, then go ahead and click that subscribe button below as well as the little bell icon that's right next to it because that will ensure that you get notified whenever new videos come up here on YouTube. And if you're watching this on Facebook, make sure to like our Facebook page, Cat Lady Fitness, because we do put out a new video every cat or day and then fun things sprinkled throughout the week. And of course, we have to give the meow out of the week, which in this video goes to Jack Fitzsimmons. Thank you so much, Jack, for watching all of our videos and liking them and leaving such supportive and kind comments. We appreciate you and I appreciate you so, so much. And for anybody else who wants to potentially be the meow out of the week or of the video, simply make sure you are subscribed to our channel and leave leave a comment below, any comment that you like, and you can possibly be picked for next week's Meow Out. All right, so if you can only find the gizzards and hearts that are packed together at your grocery store and you can't seem to find the hearts on their own, this is what you can do and how to calculate it into the raw food recipe calculator at catladyfitness.com. So first we go to the website and then go to the My Diet tab and the Raw Food Recipe Calculator. From there, you just want to scroll down, enter the amount of meat you're using, including the chicken thighs, if you're using chicken thighs or whatever protein, the skins and the chicken gizzards. So you're going to put all of the chicken gizzards into this total calculation and then click to calculate and you will see all of the resulting amounts of what you're going to need in the rest of the ingredients. Now what you're going to do, which is what's going to make it more accurate than what I explained in the last video, is you are going to take the amount of hearts that you do have, so let's say that that package came with 200 grams of hearts. You simply want to deduct that amount from the chicken hearts showing, which in this case is 534 grams. So since you have those 200 grams of the hearts from the package, we deduct that from the total and that brings us to 334 grams. And from here, you want to multiply that number by 10. So 334 times 10 is 3,340. And you're going to add this number in milligrams to the amount of taurine that's showing. So in this case, it's 2,666.64 plus the 3,340 equals right around 6,010 milligrams. And that is the total amount of supplemental taurine that you want to add to this recipe. Just to show you again, let's go with a different example that maybe is a little bit 
less of a round number. And let's say you're doing what I do, which is typically making a double batch. So let's say 9.8 total weight of the meat, protein, skins, and additional gizzards that you may have. And a quick little tip that I know I've mentioned before, but you don't have to click the click to calculate button. It automatically does once you enter the number and it will still automatically show the correct calculation below, even though it says to enter only digits. If you do use a decimal, it will still show the accurate number and calculate correctly. So in the case of 9.8 pounds, you can see the totals that come up for all of the other ingredients. And in this case, let's just make up another number and say that we ended up having 453 grams of chicken hearts. You take that 453 and deduct it from the chicken hearts showing in the calculation. So 872.2 minus 453 equals 419.2. Take that 419.2, multiply it by 10, and the result is 4192. And then we add that 4192 as milligrams to the taurine showing. So 4300. 55.5, we will round it, plus 4,192 equals roughly 8,550 milligrams total supplemental taurine. So there you go. I hope that answers your question with a little bit more accuracy on what to do if you can only find those tandem packages of the chicken gizzards and hearts at your supermarket and how to calculate it into the raw food recipe calculator to do the best you can in ensuring that you get enough taurine to avoid any kind of deficiency because it is such an important nutrient. And remember, uh, if you haven't checked out the Importance of Taurine Trilogy, that's also in the Cat Stuff playlist, that taurine is water soluble and no accounts of any kind of toxicity or overdose of taurine have ever been recorded. So it's better to be safe than sorry and add a little bit more as opposed to having too little. I hope you found this video helpful. Please remember to click that thumbs up below if you did because that helps this video be seen by more and more people according to the wonderful algorithm of YouTube and Facebook, and it will help more people learn about how to feed their cat the healthiest, most species-appropriate diet that they possibly can and how to make it at home. Puppy Alf and I wish you a wonderful day and weekend, and by the way, somebody's 11th birthday is coming up next weekend, so... Stay tuned for that because not quite sure yet what we have planned, but it's definitely going to be something fun. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you in the next video. Bye.